Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Lomaster here and welcome back to another Rocket League video and in this one guys, this one is going to be a ton of fun. It's kind of a laid back video, not so much tips and tricks because today we're going to be going through a bunch of things that Rocket League players hate. So yeah guys, I'm not saying there's a ton of stuff to hate about Rocket League. In fact, it's a pretty much perfect game, but just as with other games, there's always those little things that get on your nerves and annoy you and they're kind of those things you love to hate. So today we're going to be going through a bunch of those and some of them were suggested by you guys and overall it's gonna be a really fun video but anyways guys before we get into that be sure to hit that like button down below and let's try and get like 4,000 likes now I know that's a little higher than the last like goal we had but you guys absolutely destroyed that one and I definitely think you guys can do it for this one but other than that enough intro stuff here and let's jump right into it Alright guys, so starting off this video, we have one that was suggested by a fan of mine on Twitter. And speaking of Twitter, if you don't follow me yet, you should definitely check it out. I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff, little Rocket League updates that aren't big enough for their own videos, stuff like that. And considering I have about 10,000 followers on Xbox and only about 3,000 on Twitter, which I have no idea how that happened, we need to change that a little bit. So be sure to check it out and you might just get in a video like this one. As Mr. Taco here says, not being able to trade trails such as the Ink, Lightning, and Two smoke trails now this one just oh my gosh it is one of the most annoying things ever because it takes up so much freaking space like just take a look at how many I have here and a bunch of people have more than I do but how can I have close to 100 of these trails and have nothing to do with them like you can't trade them into a higher item you can't really trade them to other people because they're practically worthless considering that everybody has a ton of them filling up their inventory and also they're not really boosts that you often use. I mean, I sometimes use the yellow lightning one, but besides that, they're practically useless and are only there to take up a ton of space. Now, I will say that I'm pretty sure they're going to do something with these in the future. I mean, I'm not sure when they'll do that. We've been hoping for that type of trade up update for a while now, and it hasn't happened yet, but I mean, they've got to do something. It's been so freaking long, but these things just keep on dropping and they keep taking up even more space. But anyways, moving on to the next one here, this one has to do with gameplay and more specifically, like advanced moves in the game but it is simply when you're going to do an air dribble and you're putting it towards the wall you match the speed of it you wait for it to go up you're about to hit it perfectly and for some freaking weird reason it comes off the wall just enough for you to miss it and destroy every single one of your dreams all right maybe not that bad but it still makes you look like a complete idiot when you're flailing in the air past the ball because the ball didn't do what it was supposed to now i don't really know what causes this because every time this happens to me i am 100 percent sure I am keeping it flat on the ground at the correct speed not too fast not too slow and still even when I keep it perfect sometimes it just decides to do whatever it wants and just fly wherever so yeah I don't know maybe this one's just me but it is honestly insanely anger inducing now speaking of anger inducing and this is a more common issue that happens to everybody and even pros but that doesn't make it any less annoying and the thing I'm talking about here and prepare yourselves to maybe hit something like a pillow the couch maybe a sibling but I am talking about accidental flips when you're trying to do an aerial oh my yes that freaking annoying thing that just always happens no matter how much practice you have it just sneaks in at the most annoying times so you have to know what I'm talking about when you're in those ranked matches it's tied like one to one with just 30 seconds left the ball goes up perfectly the people on the other team are in a bad position they can't go up to save it and you're just like hold on guys I got this so you go to double tap your a button to do a quick aerial but you just happen to hold back too soon and instead of doing an aerial you do a sick backflip yeah, this is definitely one that I hate, especially considering that I've turned my dead zone radius quite a bit down to like 0.08, so it's a little easier for it to happen, but it is just so frustrating. And also what's kind of funny about this one, the less that it happens to you, the more frustrating it gets. Like when it happens all the time when you're starting to learn the fast aerial, or whatever it's called, you know it's annoying, but you're kind of used to it, you're still learning the move, but when you're practicing this forever, and that backflip just happens to sneak in, it is honestly one of the worst things in this game. Now going back to a slightly less annoying thing that also has to do with trading, this one happens all the time to me, especially because I do a lot of crate openings, I trade a lot, stuff like that, but everybody is forced to deal with this and it is so annoying. And the thing that I'm talking about that you are all forced to deal with is the 7 day trade lock period on keys. Now this one, it's obviously a giant pain, but I'm not really sure why it's there in the first place. Like I'm sure Psyonix has a good reason for it, but I can't really think of it at the moment. I mean, what real damage could you 
you do by being able to trade keys as soon as you buy them. Or like if you open a crate as soon as you buy a key, why do you have to wait to trade it? It honestly doesn't really make that much sense. So if you happen to know why they do this, be sure to leave it down below in the comments because I am curious. As annoying as it is, I would like to know why it's actually there. Now speaking of another thing that has to do with keys, and this is console specific for the Xbox, but we can't even trade keys. I don't know why we can't trade keys. I'm pretty sure Psyonix has said it has something to do with Microsoft's rules for the store and stuff like that. But just considering that Steam is able to trade keys and also PS4, and on top of all that, it just makes trading a lot easier, it is just a giant pain for all of us Xbox players. But getting back into the ones that happen to everybody, and this is literally something that happens to everyone and not even just people that play Rocket League, this one comes from at ImagineFaze and also at VSLXY on Twitter. They simply say when the game lags. <laughs> yeah, this one, I mean, I had to put it in here. It's something that every single online multiplayer game has, but that does not make it any less annoying. But considering Rocket League is a game where you pretty much have to be fully attent every single second or you risk getting a goal scored on you, when you do happen to get those little spikes and lag, it's always frustrating. Now on top of this, when they put up that update that changed a bunch of the things with the physics in the game, and they did go in and recently fix this, but do you guys remember when pretty much every single match, it would suddenly get that weird spike of lag, and everything would like rubber band back and forth for a few seconds? That was pretty painful. Granted, it did happen to everybody, but it was still freaking annoying. Now getting into the final annoying thing of this episode, because I think we have gone through enough frustrating things for today, but let's finish it off with one more super annoying one that is actually a glitch in the game that they really need to fix, and I'm surprised they haven't yet, but this is the glitch that causes you to get stuck in the trade window. So I don't know if this has happened to you guys or not, or if it's console specific, but personally it's happened to me like close to 30 times, and every single time it makes you just want to yell at the game. So if you don't know what I'm talking about with this trade glitch, Basically what happens is when you have a message such as like trade cancelled on your screen and then somebody invites you to a trade and you accept it, the trade cancelled message will still be there, but now that you're in the trade window, there's no programming to actually let you click away from it. So basically, as long as you're in this trade window, it locks you out of doing anything. Like of course you can't click on the message, you can't add things to trade, you can't back out of the trade, you can't even use the in-game chat to tell the other person what's going on. So basically, the only other options that you're left with is either restarting the game entirely or going into the console and trying to message the person and explain to them what's going on. But either way, it's still one of the most annoying things because as soon as it happens and you see that message in the trade window, you know you have to go through all of that work to get rid of it and it's just a gigantic pain. But anyways guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you agree with any of these annoying things in the video, be sure to leave a like down below or comment another annoying thing that wasn't featured in this one. Also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and check out some of my previous videos which should be popping up on the screen right now, including the most recent episode of the Funnies and Freestyle series, which is basically a compilation of me and my friends' funniest moments and best goals. And then on the right, we have a giant player's choice crate opening. But other than that, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm the Llamaser, and I will see you guys next time.